a ceremonial headdress worn by the Blackfeet Indian, and it's called a war bonnet. It was worn in tribal ceremonies, especially the Sundance, which was held once a year from uh, one to four days, and thanksgiving to the Holy Spirits for all the good that they had given them during the past year, and for good they hoped for in the next year. It was attended by hundreds of people. Also, the ceremony they, they uh, went to with this headdress were the treaty ceremonies, and perhaps someone had recovered from an illness and uh, they had, uh, were giving thanksgiving and prayers for that person. We see on this headdress quite a few decorations, symbols as it is. The uh, eagle feathers here, the golden eagle, was revered by the Indians for its courage, its strength, its, its uh, wonderful eyesight, ex excellent eyesight, and the protection of the Holy Spirit. And it was given to the warriors for their heroic deeds. Uh, attached to the bottom of the feathers are horse tail hairs, and that was also uh, given to them for heroic deeds. So judging by the amount of feathers, which are over 30 to 40 on this headdress, this may have been an Indian chief. He may have become an Indian chief. Uh, at the top of the headdress are feathers that are very fluffy. These are called breath feathers. They're from the eagle also, and they are, uh, they give it the the Indian believed that they would give him sensitivity to his enemy's arrows to be able to avoid those arrows. Everything here has meaning. You see the ermine pelts on the front of the bonnet. They are, uh, that's a small animal, they prize highly, it's a weasel, and it had brown fur during the day, and in the winter it would turn white. So it's a symbol of purity and fidelity. Also on the top of the hood there is a medallion there with beads on it with a symbol. Beads were, came over with the Spanish traders and they immediately, the Indians, preferred the beads over what they had been using, porcupine quills, which they had to soften. There was a lot of hunting involved. The porcupine became scarce. The women had to flatten the quills through their front teeth. You see pictures of women with the gaps in their teeth and this is probably why that happened. But the beads came over. They were wonderful. They were colorful and the Indians used those as symbols too. We see wonderful texture on this as a work of art. Uh, we see the, the softness of the feathers. We see the softness of the cloth. We see the hardness of the quills, that type of thing. Now the, the banner here that is based on 200 years ago, they would have put it on animal hides. But when the Spaniards came over with their horses and their beads and their chemicals, they brought cloth and that was used quite often. In this case, that what we have here, cloth, and also the colors are very pleasing. The red, that was their favorite color. This truly is a work of art.